Clean, 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 clean. Ooh! Hey, hey, oh! Hello! Welcome to our cafe. The best cafe in the world. I'm just doing the cleaning. Woo! Woohoo! The counter gets a good polishing and I get to go skating. Way! Yes, okay then. See you tomorrow. Oh, oh, small. Small. What is it, Ben? I've got a problem. Oh. You know my mum and dad are coming to stay with me tomorrow. Oh, yes. Well, they've just rung to say they're going to bring my uncle Len and my auntie Jen, my cousin Den and his wife Pen. But I haven't got enough beds for them. Where are they all going to sleep? Well, I'd love to help, Ben, but I think my egg cup's going to be a little bit too small <laughs> for them. <Yes. laughs> well, we'll have to worry about that later, Ben. We've got a customer. It's cooking time. Woohoo! <sighs> Who is it today, Small? Well, that's a surprise. She's wearing a crown and a beautiful dress. I'm not sure who that could be. Do you know? It's a princess! A princess? In our cafe? Yes! Quick, Small, we better find her something to eat. You can't keep a princess waiting. You know, I think I know this princess. I think it's time to look in my book. We need a story to help us cook. Let's take a look in Little Cook's book. Little Cook's adventures in the big world. Let me see. There was once a princess who fell in love with a prince. They wanted to get married, but first the prince's family had to make sure that she was a real princess. So the prince's mother, the queen, put a tiny pea on the princess's bed, and on top of the pea, she put 20 mattresses, and on top of the mattresses, she put 20 duvets. And the princess had to go to bed on top of all that. The next day, the queen asked her how she'd slept, and the princess said, Oh, very badly. There was a big lump in my bed. I haven't slept a wink. When she heard this, the queen knew that only a princess could have skin soft enough to feel a tiny pea through all those mattresses. And so the prince and princess were married and lived happily ever after. Well, almost because sleeping on all those mattresses and duvets was giving the princess a few problems. First, it was taking her ages to climb into bed each night. Second, she kept bumping her head on the ceiling. And third, if she rolled over and fell out of bed, she had a long, long way to fall. But the princess had to sleep on all those mattresses and duvets, because otherwise she could feel every tiny lump in the bed. Then I had a brilliant idea. I took her a special bed called a hammock, a big comfy net. Now the princess didn't need to worry about any lumps and bumps. She loved her new bed and she slept like a dream. Little Cook Small to the rescue once again. That was a great adventure. Oh, well done, Small. The hammock was a great idea. Woohoo! Oh. Thanks, Ben. But now we need another great idea. We need to cook a meal fit for a princess. Oh, yes. There's a princess in our cafe. Ah! <gasps> we could... Could... I know. Big Cook's Big Cookery Book. Of course. The Big Cookery Book. There's recipes for everything in there. And where do we look for things to cook? In the book. In the book. In Big Cook's Book. Oh, small. Look at this. Princess Pie. Woohoo! Well, would you believe it, Ben? A bed for a princess with a soft pea mattress. Oh, she'll love this. You read out the ingredients, small, and I'll go and see if we've got them. OK, let's see. We're going to need one packet of short crust pastry. Short crust pastry in the fridge. Here we are. Yes, got that. Short crust pastry. 
Then we're going to need some peas. Peas? Um, I'm not too sure about the peas small. Double cream. Double cream, yes, got that, definitely. Double cream. Eggs. Two eggs. One and a two. And mint. Mint. Oh, yes, mint. Got that as well. Oh, is that everything? What about the peas, Ben? Oh, I don't think we've got any peas small. Well, don't worry, Ben. I'll whiz off and get some. Oh, yeah, and I'll get all the ingredients ready while you're away. Great idea, Ben. I'll be back in a jiffy. Hey, why don't you come along too? Whoa! Whoa! Go, Small! Go, Small! Whiz away! I wonder what he'll see today. Hey, hey, I've come to the right place here. That's a big red machine. It's collecting all the peas. There they are. The peas live inside those long green pods. What's that machine doing? It's sucking up all the peas. In they go. The peas are being taken out of their pods. Oh, look. There's three harvesters. One, two, three. And the one at the front has an orange flashing light. That means it's full of peas. And here's the tractor to collect them. Look at all those peas. Off they go. I wonder where they're going. Let's find out. There they are again. I've never seen so many peas. I bet the princess in my adventure wouldn't like all those peas under her mattress. Up, up and away! Wow, that machine's big. It's washing all the peas. Can you see the steam? Round and round. Here they come. Lovely, clean, round, juicy peas. Boing, 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 boing. The peas have now been frozen. And what are they doing? They're checking the peas and taking out any bad ones. It's very noisy in here. That lady's even wearing earmuffs. They'll keep out the noise. Where are they going? They're weighing them ready for packing. Each bag has the same number of peas in it. And there's the bags, full of peas and ready to go to the shops. I've got mine. See you later. I'm back, Ben! Oh, no, I see. Well, of course, they must come with you. Y yes, that, that'll be fine. <laughs> OK, then. See you tomorrow. Bye. Oh. What now, Ben? That was my cousin, Den, on the phone. He wants to bring his children with him tomorrow. So now I've got my mum, my dad, my uncle Len and my auntie Jen, my cousin Den and his wife Pen, and their children, Ken, Glenn, Brent and Sven. Where are they all going to sleep, Small? Mm. Well, Ben, we'll have to worry about that later. Oh. It's time to start cooking. Oh, yes. There's a princess in our cafe. I'd completely forgot. Ooh. Did you get the piece, Small? Certainly did. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. <laughs> wow. It was brilliant! I saw this huge machine picking and podding the peas, and then the peas were taken to a factory where they were... frozen! <laughs> so now the peas are lovely and fresh. Oh, yes. Sounds like we're all ready to cook, Small. We're all ready, so take a look. And we will show you how to cook. <laughs> Jelly boats and pirates go, princess pea pies. Carrot cakes and fruity smiles And envelope surprise We love our cafe and we love to cook We have a fantastic recipe book He is big cook and he is small Friends in our cafe we cook for them all When your tummy 
gets all rumbly, you're ready for a treat. You can make something delicious to eat. Have you cleaned the surfaces? Yes. Have you washed your hands? Yes. All, all clean, clean and ready, ready to, to cook. cook. While you are away, small, I've set the oven to 200 degrees Celsius, gas mark six. I've also chopped up the mint. Oh, smells lovely. And here, I've rolled out all the pastry, ready to go. Do you remember the ingredients for princess pie? You do? Let's see then. There was short cross pastry, one packet, all rolled out, peas, one cupful, double cream, three tablespoons full, eggs, two, and mint. Mint, dried or fresh. All chopped up and ready to go. Whoopee! Let's get started. OK. Right, let's get the pastry ready. Now, I've cut the pastry into four slices, like that. Now, I'm going to tidy up the edges. Make sure you get your grown-up helper to do this bit for you. There we are. And small, can you use these leftover pieces to make little pillows for the beds? Okie dokie. Good catch, small. Now put the pastry pieces onto a greased baking tray. And then fold up the edges like this to make little walls. There. How's it going, small? Here we are, big cook, Ben. Put it on the bed. Oh, yes, little cook. That looks great. On it goes. A little pillow. Ooh, that looks really comfy. I've already put some water on to boil. Make sure you get your grown-up helper to do this bit for you. I'm putting the peas in to cook. There we are. And put the lid on, because they don't take long. All the beds are ready, Ben. Oh, they look great. Right, now I'm going to brush the egg all over the edges of the pastry. And the pillows. Mmm, yummy. I do love this recipe. It's time to mix the other egg. The cream. And the mint all together in a mixing bowl. What about the peas, Ben? Oh, yes, Small. Oh, yes. Looks like the peas are ready. Now, you don't need to leave the peas to cook for too long. They should still be bright green. And make sure you get your grown-up helper to do this next bit for you. Drain the peas through a colander. In they go. And now, we add them to the rest of our mixture. Oh, yes. And mash them up. Give them a good squish. There we go. Mash till they're squashy. Mash till they're mushy, mushy. Back to the mash, mash. Back to the mushy. Oh, yes. La, la, la. Hey! Hey! Oh! Oh! Watch it, Ben! Small? How did you manage to get so messy? It wasn't me. It was... Oh, never mind. What's next? All we have to do now is spoon in the mixture onto the beds. There we go, just like that. The pastry walls should stop the mixture from running everywhere. That looks great! <sighs> I'd better go and get cleaned up. <laughs> there. That's the last one done. Right. Put the tray in the oven. Now make sure you get your grown-up helper to do this bit for you because the oven is hot, hot, hot. In they go. And they need to cook for 30 minutes. Hang on, I'm ready now. I'll set the timer. For 30 minutes. There we go. So what do we do now? Can we play? Not yet, Small. Time to clean up and put away. Hooray! <laughs> Wash, 
wipes scrub and clean Make the kitchen sparkle and gleam My name's Ben And my name's Small We've got the cleanest kitchen of all Tidy all the bits and bobs The things that help us do our jobs Ingredients well put away Ready for use another day Pots and pans will start to smell If we don't wash them really well And now it's clear, let's all smile We'll be finished in a little while All around, up and down We've got the cleanest cafe in town What great timing! The princess pies are ready! Ha ha! Let's see how they look, shall we? Mmm, yummy! Oh, they look great! Let's get them over here, shall we? They look really nice! Mmm, they smell delicious! Right, pop one of them onto a plate. There we go. And let's get them into that princess. She must be really hungry by now. Over we go. Your Royal Highness. Your Royal Highness. Oh. 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 Hello? Yes? All right. Okay then. Bye. Let me guess. You've got another visitor. Yes. My cousin children want to bring their dog as well. <gasps> so now tomorrow I've got coming my mum, my dad, my uncle Len, my auntie Jen, my cousin Bren and his wife Pen, and their children Ken, Glenn, Bren and Sven, and their dog <gasps> Rover. Where are they all going to sleep, Small? Oh look, a lovely clean plate. Oh yeah. It looks like our princess enjoyed the princess pie bed. And she's left us a note. Well, what does it say? What does it say? Let's see. It says, Dear Big Cook Ben and Little Cook Small. <gasps> we were most pleased with the princess pie bed. It was delicious. By the way, as we now sleep in a, in a hammock every night, we have no need for the 20 mattresses and 20 duvets at the palace. So we wondered if you might find them useful. Brilliant! What a lovely note. And look, now I've got 20 mattresses and 20 duvets and enough room for anyone who wants to come and stay. You've only got one more thing to worry about, Ben. Oh, what's that? What are you going to feed them all? <laughs> oh, yes, I know. <laughs> See you soon. See you soon. Big cook, little cook. We'll cook for everyone. Hello, welcome to our cafe, the best cafe in the world. <laughs> today we're making, um, today we're making, hmm, what are we making, Ben? Hello, everyone. Today we're making a wedding cake for Walter and Wendy, who live on the high street. They're getting married. It is lovely, Ben, but a wedding cake needs to look really, really special. What's wrong with it? There's nothing wrong with it, Ben. It's just it's not very interesting, is it? Hmm, no. Hmm. There needs to be something on it. Some decoration. Oh! Oh, yes! That's because it's not finished yet. Not until I put... this on it! <laughs> what on earth is that? It's a digger. Good, isn't it? We can't have a digger on Water and Wendy's wedding cake. <laughs> no? No! It's got nothing to do with a wedding. Very pretty, though. <laughs> no, no, no. Let's try something else. OK, um... Oh, yeah. What about this? What do you think? It needs to be something pretty. Try something else, Ben. Pretty, pretty... Oh, yes. OK. What about this? <laughs> no, Ben. It still isn't finished, and now we've got a customer. I'll have to put the cake away. But we'll still have to think of something to put on it, cos Walter and Wendy are coming to pick the cake up today. I'm on my way! Woo! Who is it, Small? Who's our customer? She's very beautiful, Ben. Very beautiful? I can't guess from very beautiful. I need a better clue. 
OK, then. She's got seven friends. Seven friends? Oh, it's Snow White. Oh, Snow White in our cafe. Yes, it is, Ben. Snow White. She's very pretty. Oh, I love the story of Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. Me too, Ben. But there's more to that story than you think. I think it's time to look in my book. We need a story to help us cook. Let's take a look in Little Cook's book. Little Cook's adventures in the big world. Let me see. Far away lived a beautiful princess, Snow White, and her wicked stepmother. One day, the wicked stepmother looked into her magic mirror and said, Mirror, mirror on the wall, who is the fairest of them all? And the mirror replied, Snow White. The wicked stepmother was so cross that she ordered her servant to take Snow White into the wood and leave her there. Snow White was a little frightened. Luckily, she saw a tiny house in the distance. When Snow White finally reached the house, she was very tired and went straight to sleep. To her surprise, when she woke up, she was surrounded by seven dwarves. They felt sorry for Snow White and asked her to stay. Meanwhile, their wicked stepmother looked into her mirror. Mirror, mirror on the wall, who is the fairest of them all? Again, the mirror replied, Snow White. The wicked stepmother was very angry. She disguised herself as an old lady, and when she found Snow White, she gave her a poisoned apple. Poor Snow White was now under a spell and would sleep for 100 years. When the dwarves came back, they were very upset. Luckily for them, I had an idea. I dashed off to find the handsomest prince in the land and brought him back as quickly as I could. When the prince saw Snow White, he kissed her. The kiss broke the spell, Snow White awoke, she married the prince and they lived happily ever after. Little Cook to the rescue once again! That was a great adventure. Ho oh, ho! I love a story with a happy ending. Way! And it just shows you that true love always wins in the end. Ah. <laughs> Look at you, Small, and you say I'm soppy. You're the one who's soppy. Soppy, soppy, sop, sop, soppy. <laughs> no, I'm not. I meant, mmm. I was just thinking about the lovely meal that I cooked for them all. And we should be thinking about the meal we're going to cook. Hmm. You're quite right, Small. Now, what can we cook for Snow White? Hmm. Oh, we can... oh. I know! Big Cook's Big Cookery Book! Of course! The Big Cookery Book! There's recipes for everything in there! And where do we look for things to cook? In the book! In the book! In Big Cook's Book! Oh yes! Here it is! Nothing but the best for Snow White! Seven Dwarves Pies? What's that got to do? Oh, I see! Seven Dwarves! We make seven custard pies with a dwarf on each one! All oh, right, to remind her of her little friends. Brilliant, Ben. Come on then, Small. You read out the ingredients and I'll see if we've got them. OK, let's see. An apple. Apple, OK. Here we go. Got the apple, Small. An egg. In the fridge. Here we go. Egg. Got the egg. Milk. Milk in here. Milk, yep. Short crust pastry. Oh, yes, pastry. There it is. Got the pastry. And custard. Right, custard, custard. Ooh. Um. Oh, no. Cupboard's bare. Oh. We haven't got any custard, Small. We've got everything else for the recipe. But how can we make seven dwarves pies without custard? Don't worry, Ben. That's a job for Little Cook Small and his magic spoon. Woohoo! I'll go and get some custard. Hope you don't bring back some mustard. Hee <laughs> hee. Up, up and away! Hey, why don't you come along too? Way! Go small, go small, whiz away! 
I wonder what he'll see today. Oh, I'm so excited! This is a big factory where custard is made. Wow, look at all that sugar. This man is pouring in all the ingredients that are used to make custard. Oh, mustn't forget the milk. Do you remember where milk comes from? Milk comes from cows. Now the custard is mixed up in all these pipes. Oh, let's see where that man's going. I think he's going to look at the custard. Oh yes, it looks good to me. It's nice and yellow, and there's lots of it. I love custard on my apple pie. These pots are going to be filled with custard. There it is! Lovely, delicious custard. On go the lids. And now they're ready to be delivered to the shops. That was great! I can't wait to tell Ben about this. Bye! Way! I'm back! Here it is, one carton of freshly made custard. Oh, lovely! Do they have enough to spare? Oh, yes, Ben. I've never seen so much custard in all my life. <laughs> Enough custard to float a boat on. <laughs> oh, a sea of custard. <laughs> Yummy! <laughs> I hope Snow White likes it. Ah, oh, Snow, Snow White. White. Come on, Small, we better get on. You're right. We better get on, Ben. We're all ready, so take a look. And we will show you how to cook. Jelly boats and pirates, gold princess pea pies, carrot cakes and fruity smiles, and envelope surprise. We love our cafe and we love to cook. We have a fantastic recipe book. He is big cook and he is small. Friends in our cafe, we cook for them all. When your tummy gets all rumbly, you're ready for a treat. You can make something delicious to eat. Have you cleaned the surfaces? Yes. Have you washed your hands? Yes. All clean and ready to cook. Do you remember the ingredients to seven dwarves' pies? You do? There was an apple, one, sliced, an egg, one, milk, three tablespoons, short crust pastry, one packet, and custard, one carton. Whoopee! Let's get started! The first thing we need to do is turn on the oven to 180 degrees Celsius, gas mark four. And make sure you get your grown-up helper to do that bit for you because remember, the oven is hot, hot, hot. That's done. Now I can get on with making the pies. Can you read out the recipe for me, Small? OK, Ben. First, sprinkle some flour onto a board and roll out the pastry. Okie dokie. Sprinkle the flour and roll out the pastry. Here we are. We need to make it nice and flat. I wonder if this is a magic mirror, like the one in the story. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who is the fairest of them all? Who? Ben? No! Surely it's me! Right. Use a knife to cut round a saucer to make a circle. And make sure you get your grown-up helper to help you with this bit. Here we go. All the way around. Great. And lift it off. Oh, careful. And I'm going to make another one just next to it. Round it goes. All the way. And this side. Brilliant. Now, I'm going to pop one of them 
onto a greased baking tray. Up it comes, and there. And I'm going to use our sliced apple to put in the middle. There's a few more there. Great. <laughs> now I'm going to pretend to be the prince in the story. He was very good at dancing. <laughs> Next, we mix the milk and the egg together in a bowl. In it goes. Give it a good old whisk. Mix them both up together. And I'm going to use this brush to brush the mixture around the edges of this piece of pastry. There we are. All the way around the edges. This will help the other piece of pastry stick on top. I'd love to meet a princess. I'd have to learn to dance, though. Here goes. Oh, I'm not very good at this. I'll need some practice. This is the clever part. I've got a little man cutter here, and I'm going to use it to make a hole in the other piece of pastry. On it goes. A bit of a twist. And let's see. Oh, there he is. And I'm going to take this piece out. Look at that. Just like a little dwarf. Hey! I'm getting better at this! Way! Woo! -hoo! What do you think? Are you dancing too? Carefully does it. On it goes. There. Now the trick is to put one piece of pastry right on top of the other. And I'm going to take a fork and press down just around the edges. This will help it to stick. And that side. Very good. And there we have a pie with a dwarf shaped hole in the middle. So all we need to do now is add the yummy custard. <laughs> Gorgeous. A spoonful in there. There we go. And another one. Oh. oh no! I'm never going to meet a princess now I'm covered in custard. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Sorry, small. <laughs> okay. Take the eggy milky mixture and brush it all over the top of the pie. This will help it to go all brown and shiny when it cooks. I'm going to cover all the pastry. Great. And then into the oven it goes. So, oven gloves on, and over we go. And make sure you get your grown-up helper to do this bit for you, because remember, the oven is hot, hot, hot. Pop it in. For 30 minutes. <laughs> I'll set the timer. For 30 minutes. They're cooked and cooled now, so I'm going to pop the last one onto a plate. There. I've made seven of them to remind Snow White of her seven friends. What do you think, Small? Perfect! Snow White's going to love them. Here we go. Seven dwarves' pies coming through. There. All done. So what do we do now? Can we play? Not yet. Time to clean and put away. Hooray! Wash, wipe, scrub and clean. Make the kitchen sparkle and gleam. My name's Ben. And my name's Small. We've got the cleanest kitchen of all. Tidy all the bits.
bits and bobs The things that help us do our jobs Ingredients we'll put away Ready for use another day Pots and pans will start to smell If we don't wash them really well And now it's clear, let's all smile We'll be finished in a little while All around, up and down We've got the cleanest cafe in town Aha, here comes the plate. Oh, yes. It looks like Snow White enjoyed her seven dwarves pies. And look, Small, she's left a note. Well, what does it say? What does it say? Let's see, shall we? It says, Dear Big Cook Ben and Little Cook Small, My seven dwarves pies were delicious. Woohoo! To say thank you, I've left you one of my new bows. I thought it might be useful for your cake. Oh, of course, Small. Snow White knows all about wedding cakes because she got married to the prince at the end of the story. Let's see how it looks, shall we? There. Oh, Water on Wendy's wedding cake looks perfect. See you soon. See you soon. Big cook, little cook, we'll cook for everyone! Hey, hey, giddy up, boy, giddy up! Here we go! <laughs> gallopy, gallopy, gallopy! <laughs> Bam! Okay, now Bam! ready? Over the jump we go, <laughs> come on! Way! <laughs> gallopy, gallopy, gallopy! <laughs> oh, hello! Welcome to our cafe! <laughs> the best cafe in the world! <laughs> Will you help me call out to Ben? Okay then, after three. One, two, three! <laughs> ben! Oh, oh, oh dear! Are you alright, Ben? Oh, 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 hello everyone! Oh, I'm fine, Small, but look what's happened! Oh, this was my favourite horsey! I'm sorry, Ben! But it's a broom, not a horse! <laughs> oh, it's not just a broom, Small. You can use a broom as all sorts of things. And this was the perfect shape for a horsey. <laughs> We've got a customer. A customer should take your mind off your broken broom, Ben. Hey. And cheer you up. Woohoo! I'm on my way. Woohoo! <laughs> Who is it, Small? Who's come to our cafe today? Oh, you'll never guess, Ben. Oh, I might, if you give me a clue. Well, she's beautiful, and she's a princess now, but she never used to be a princess, and she once wore a glass slipper to a ball. Do you know who once wore a glass slipper to a ball? Is it Cinderella? Yes, it's Cinderella, Ben. I wonder what Cinderella would like to eat. I think it's time to look in my book. We need a story to help us cook. Let's take a look in Little Cook's book. Little Cook's adventures in the big world. Let me see. As you probably know, Cinderella lived with her two ugly sisters, who were very unkind to her. One day, the ugly sisters were invited to the prince's ball. Cinderella so wanted to go, but they shouted, No! You must stay in the kitchen and sweep! I was passing by the house, and I heard her crying, so I went in. Oh, Cinders, whatever's the matter? I asked. My sisters have gone to the ball, but here I am, all alone with my broom, just sweeping. She banged her broom down on the floor, and suddenly there was a puff of smoke. Cinderella's fairy godmother stood before us and said, I am your fairy godmother. You will go to the ball. I will turn your rags into a beautiful gown. I will turn the pumpkin into a glittering coach. The two white mice into two white horses. The brown rat into a handsome coachman. And do you know what? She waved her wand and the spell worked. Apart from one thing. The brown rat had not turned into a handsome coachman. He was definitely still a big brown rat. Oh no! cried Cinderella. 
I have my gown, I have my coach, I have my horses, but who will drive me to the ball? That's when I had an idea. I climbed aboard the coach, grabbed hold of the horse's reins and shouted, Giddy up! And off we went! Cinderella danced and danced with the handsome prince and, as we all know, at midnight she had to run home before the spell was broken. The prince had to find her. The only clue was the glass slipper she had left behind. When he found her, he asked for her hand in marriage and Cinderella lived happily ever after. Little Cook to the rescue once again! That was a great adventure! Oh, so that's how Cinderella became a princess. Hey! Yes, Ben, lots of people know that story, but not many people know that it was me who drove her to the ball. Oh, in a pumpkin too, a pumpkin that turned into a coach. Oh, I would have loved to have ridden one of the horses that drove the pumpkin coach. Oh, giddy up, horsey, giddy up. Oh, oh deary me, I forgot that it had broken. <sighs> Don't worry about your broom, Ben. We need to work out what we're going to cook for Cinderella. Right, what to cook? Hmm. Oh, we can cook! Oh. oh. I know! Big Cook's Big Cookery Book! Of course, the Big Cookery Book. There's recipes for everything in there. And where do we look for things to cook? In the book, in the book, in Big Cook's Book. Hey, hey, I don't believe it. Pumpkin pie, the perfect thing. That'll remind Cinderella of the pumpkin coach which you drove to the ball small. Brilliant. And perhaps it will remind her of the rather handsome coachman too. <laughs> <laughs> Come on then, small. No time to lose. Let's get going. OK, let's see. We're going to need brown sugar. OK. Over to the cupboard. Straight open. Brown sugar. Got it. A pastry case. Pastry case. One pastry case. Got that too, Small. Treacle. Treacle. Oh, yes. Lovely and sticky. Treacle. Eggs. Eggs over in the fridge. Open it. There we are. Eggs. Double cream. Oh, double cream. There we go. Double cream. And a pumpkin. One pumpkin. Here we are. A big, fresh pumpkin. Brilliant! There we are. Whew. Do you know what, Small? I've never cooked a pumpkin before. Haven't you? No. Look at this one. It's huge. <laughs> it's nearly the size of Cinderella's coach. <laughs> oh, yeah. Small, have you ever wondered how pumpkins grow? No, I haven't. But I can soon find out. Great! You is off and I'll get everything ready. I'll be back before you can say Peter Piper picked a pumpkin. <laughs> hey, why don't you come along too? Way! Go small, go small, whiz away! I wonder what he'll see today. What a beautiful day! Well, Charlie, have you got the seeds? Yes, here they are. They're going to plant some seeds. They're pumpkin seeds. Seeds are planted in the soil. This is called sowing the seeds. Now the seeds have to be covered over. They're hidden. Now all we need to do is water them. I'll do that. Water is very important because it helps the seeds grow. Cinderella had a pumpkin that turned into a beautiful carriage to take her to the ball. Wow, look at all these pumpkins. They've grown nice and big. 
I think I'll have that one. I'd better get back to the cafe. See you later. Oh, it's no good. Oh, I still can't mend it. And where's Small? He said he'd be back by the time I could say Peter Porter popped a pimpkin. Oh, no, that's not right. Um, Pumper Potter popped a pipekin. Oh. Peter Piper picked a pumpkin. <laughs> hey! I know all about pumpkins. They come from a seed that you grow. Ooh. And here's the really, really big secret. They need loads of water so they can grow really big. Oh, hey, Small. Do you think if I gave you loads and loads of water, you'd grow really big? <laughs> no, I'm small and small I'll stay. Hey, then let's get cooking. We're all ready, so take a look. And we will show you how to cook. Jelly boats and pirates gold, princess pea pies, carrot cakes and fruity smiles, and envelope surprise. We love our cafe and we love to cook. We have a fantastic recipe book. He is big cook and he is small. Friends in our cafe, we cook for them all. When your tummy gets all rumbly, you're ready for a treat. You can make something delicious to eat. Have you cleaned the surfaces? Yes. Have you washed your hands? Yes. All clean and ready to cook. Do you remember the ingredients to pumpkin pie? You do. There was brown sugar, 100 grams, a pastry case, one, treacle, one tablespoon, eggs, two, double cream, one cup, and a pumpkin, a quarter, peeled and chopped. Whoopee! Let's get started! Now you'll need to get your grown-up helper to do these first two jobs for you, because they're going to get hot, hot, hot. OK, turn on the oven to 180 degrees Celsius, gas mark four. That's done. Now. I've already started to boil some pumpkin in a little water. Now we need to boil it for five minutes till it's nice and soft. I'll set the timer for five minutes. I've drained the pumpkin through a colander, so pour it into a bowl like that and over we go. Hey, 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 now next comes the fun part. Let's mash it up. Hee <laughs> hee. Oh, yeah. Oh, I love this. That's right, Ben. Give it a good mash. Mashy, mashy, mashy. Hee <laughs> hee. Mashy, mashy, mashy. Oh. Woohoo. Coming along a treat. Now we're going to break two eggs into a bowl. One. And two. Brilliant. And let's give them a good old whisk. Now, I'm going to use a hand whisk, but you could use an electric whisk. Whee-hee! Around and around. Here we go. Whee-hee! Oh. <laughs> oh, no, not again. <laughs> Oops. Sorry, Small. <laughs> oh, this is getting nice and frothy now. I'd better go and clean myself up. <laughs> <laughs> OK, then, Small. Right, next. We put the treacle. In it goes, all sticky. There we are. The sugar. And the cream into a saucepan. In it goes. Turn on the heat. And we need to heat it until it simmers. This means it bubbles nice and gently. Now, make sure you get your grown-up helper to do this job for you, because it's a hob job, and the hob is hot, hot, hot. OK, while we're waiting for it to simmer, I'm going to stir it nice and gently. There we go, my lady, and away we go. Uh, giddy up, 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 giddy up. 
There we go. That's just the job. So, turn off the heat and over we go. Right, here we are. Now this is another job for your grown-up helper to help you with. I'm going to very carefully pour the mixture into the whisked egg. In it goes. And then we can whisk it again. Round and round. Woohoo! Round and round it goes. Giddy up, giddy up, giddy up, giddy up. Nearly there, my lady. Giddy up, giddy up. Oh no! Not again! Giddy up, giddy up, giddy up, giddy up, giddy up, giddy up, giddy up. Now it's time to pour the mixture into the pumpkin. In it goes. Brilliant. And we give it one more stir with a wooden spoon. Round and round. Oh, yes. Nice and smooth. There we go. Now the next part is to pour the mixture into the pastry case. In it goes. That should be enough. And now it's just about ready to go in the oven. So, oven gloves on. And over we go. Here we are. Open the door and we can pop it into the preheated oven for 35 minutes. Giddy up, giddy up, giddy up, giddy up. Whoa there, horsey. I'll set the timer for 35 minutes. There we go. Delicious. Cooked and cooled. So I'm just going to add some icing sugar for decoration. There we go. Great. Pumpkin pie. Perfect for my lady. <laughs> well, let's see if Cinderella likes it then. Here we go. One pumpkin pie coming through. There. All done. So what do we do now? Can we play? Not yet. Time to clean and put away. Hooray! Wash, wipe, scrub and clean. Make the kitchen sparkle and gleam. My name's Ben. And my name's Small. We've got the cleanest kitchen of all. Tidy all the bits and bobs, the things that help us do our job. Ingredients we'll put away, ready for use another day. Pots and pans will start to smell, if we don't wash them really well. And now it's clear, let's all smile, we'll be finished in a little while. All around, up and down, we've got the cleanest cafe in town. Aha, here comes the plate. Oh, yes! It looks like Cinderella enjoyed her pumpkin pie. And look, Small, she's left a note. Well, what does it say? What does it say? Let's see, shall we? It says, Dear Big Cook Ben and Little Cook Small, My pumpkin pie was scrummy! <laughs> it reminded me of my glittering coach and the handsome coachman who drove it. Oh, that's me! <laughs> <laughs> And to say thank you, here's a little present for Ben. I don't need it anymore, because since I married the prince, I don't have to do any sweeping. It's by the back door. What is it, Ben? Let's see. Oh, ho, ho, small. It's a brand new broom. It's Cinderella's broom. Hey, hey. And we all know a broom isn't just for sweeping, don't we? That's right, Ben. <laughs> giddy up, horsey. Giddy up. Good boy. <laughs> hey, wait for me. Giddy up, <laughs> giddy, giddy up. up. Whoa, Whoa there, boy. horsey. See you See soon. You soon. <laughs> hey. Giddy up, giddy up, giddy up, giddy up.